concept is finding the derivative. And this method is finding the derivative through the limit process. Now, we already went over the de definition of a derivative, which is f of x plus the change in x minus f of x over the change in x. And to plug this into a function like this, and apply it, we could plug in x plus the change in x for x cubed. So f prime of x is x plus the change in x cubed. So you're plugging this in for this because it's f at x plus the change in x. And then plus 2 times x plus change in x. So we're plugging this in here as well. And then minus f at x. And f at x is x cubed plus 2x. And then all of this goes over change in x. Now that we have our derivative by the definition of a limit, we can solve this. This is the change in x as, it is, as it's approaching 0. And at the end we're going to plug in 0 for the change in x to get the limit, I mean the derivative. So now to solve this, first you would cube x plus the change in x to get x cubed plus 3x squared change in x plus 3x change in x squared plus 2x plus 2 change of x. All of this is still over the change in x. Now what you're going to do is a lot of combining of like terms. And um, if you distribute the negative, it should be negative x cubed minus 2x, right? Mm And then you want to simplify. So the x cubes would cross out. And so would. Okay, yeah. So the two x's. Cross out. And. This 2x and that 2x. So you'd be left with. 3x squared change in x plus 3x change in x squared plus 2x plus 2 change, change in x over change in x. Change. And you can factor out the change in x. And then you can cancel this out. And then you are left with 3x squared plus 3x change in x plus 2. And because it's the limit as the change in x is approaching 0, you can solve the limit analytically by plugging in 0. So you get 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 2. So this cancels out, and you get your derivative as the change in x approaches 0 to be 3x squared plus 2.